the death of my mother, I started using food to comfort myself and I put on about 20 pounds. And then when my father died, there was another 30 pounds. By the time my brother had died, I was at the highest weight of 287 pounds. When I looked in the mirror, I saw someone who was just really broken and lost. I knew that if I didn't change my mentality, that the physical didn't stand a chance. I have lost over 150 pounds. I feel fantastic. In 2009, when I lost my mother, it was very sudden, very out of the blue. She had struggled with addiction and hit it very well. A lot of us did not know. And then one day I got a call that she had had an overdose. It was just devastating. I started using food to comfort myself and to cope, and I put on about 20 pounds. Then my father passed away in 2012. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's. I was his full-time caretaker, and I unfortunately found him deceased one morning as I was going to check on him. And when my father died, you know, there was another 30 pounds, and it just really started spiraling out of control. My brother and I definitely took two different paths when it came to coping with our parents' loss. His was alcohol and drugs, but my drug of choice was food. Almost a year to the day, my brother died. He had been struggling ever since our parents passed away with addiction. We really thought that he had beat it. One day he relapsed and he died. We didn't find him um, until about four days afterwards. By the time my brother had died, I was at the highest weight of 287 pounds. So I started experiencing a lot of soreness in my back. I finally decided to go and have it checked out and met with a surgeon who told me that I would need surgery. He looked me in my eye and said, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but if you do not get some of this weight off after this surgery, you're going to be facing another surgery in the future. Another level is going to just not be able to keep up with all of this weight that you're putting on your spine. I knew that I had to get this weight off to be able to live. I needed help to figure out how to grieve and lose these thoughts and behaviors that had led me to this weight. The first thing I did to lose weight was to learn what was in the food that I was eating. I did not do much exercise at all. I hated exercise until I met Brandon. I started out at 287 pounds, and I have lost over 150 pounds. Now I weigh 145 pounds, and I feel fantastic. I didn't have a support system, you know, they were dead. So having his influence, having him in my ear, telling me, you can do this, you're not hurt, that really motivated me. Chest up, push it up. Yes, ma'am, good, sit it down, rest. We took it slow, made sure she was comfortable with herself, and then after that, put our foot on the gas pedal and she was doing great. I work out at least four times a week. When it's a little colder outside, that's been really limiting with COVID and everything. But typically, I'll do five days, sometimes even six. I consider her a friend, and so one thing that I'm really proud of her for even just taking that step when a lot of people wouldn't have even tried to do these things. I keep the photo of my spinal surgery scar around just to remind me when I'm maybe not wanting to go work out, when I'm wanting to maybe fall back into some bad habits. And it always reminds me of where I was and where I am now. You know, it just shows resilience and reminds me to keep at it. I love helping people lose weight, so I would love to share more of my stories. I'm not just this girl whose parents and sibling died. There's a lot more to me. I'm living that now, and so I'm proud of myself, and I'm sure my parents are too.